Hey there, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Reynold Robert with the Hustle Nation. It's just giving you an uh, update on the P Street Garage going to be coming a cottage transformation that we're doing on it and everything. We got the AC. Uh, the majority of it is installed. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be digging the sewer line so that we can go ahead and lay the pipe, get the drain. Um, once the ditch is dug, they're going to start putting up hardy siding on that particular side of the house because we're going to have to run some drains going straight through the wall and down. And so we need to have that siding up for when we go to drill the hole. It's already there. We don't really want to put siding up with having the pipe sticking out. It's uh, just trust me on that. It's easier to do it when it's in place and just drill a hole through everything. And so they're going to go ahead and get that side of the house done tomorrow. And just take a look at everything that's been going on with it and whatnot. It's really, really coming along nicely. I'm going to be extremely happy when it's done. That piece of property, I paid $13,000 for it, yes. And we ended up having to put um, close to about seventeen dollars into the house to get it to the point where it would rent. And um, it was one of these deals where we went in, we just cleaned it up, we removed a few walls and everything, and then we um i ended up having to put a uh, new central heat and air in it um that was about 4500 for both of the units put a new roof on it as well um we've had to um replace some flooring in it a couple of appliances and everything like that but it's got a good resident in there now seems to be working out well i get the feeling that they're going to want to be there for a while there's a property across the street that's in uh, getting cleaned up there used to be a whole bunch of cars junky cars and um, an RV that burned up and everything, but all of that's been cleaned up, so now it's looking good. And I've tried to uh, make contact with the owner of that property, see if they wanted to sell. Um, after this, there's a house that um, I own two other properties on that street, and I bought this house about two and a half years ago. I've shown a couple pictures of it. Um, it's fully gutted. It has, it does have a new roof. Um, the electrical is on. Um, no sheetrock in it and got the um, uh, spray foam put in there the next step is is to go ahead and get the AC guy over there and let him start um, running his duct work and everything like that and get it set up but um and actually what we need to do we need to get over there and locate where we're gonna put a um, closet for the air handler on the inside to go so that's going to be the next thing so but once we get to siding over at the cottage that'll be done for a few days and everything we can go ahead and get the rocker in there get him to hang it and everything like that we do that type of work we're just slow at it and it doesn't make sense for me to have my people on my payroll take three or four days when the guy hanging it is going to charge me a price that you know I can put my people making more money somewhere else where they're more productive at um, you know we just happen to be slow because we don't hang sheetrock every day you know we do a lot of sheetrock patches um, we hang a board or two here and there and everything like that we we make good money doing that hanging whole houses just doesn't make sense for us you know that's when you start to look at does it make sense for us to go ahead and do this or should I go ahead and put it on somebody else? And the answer is on that, go ahead and put it on somebody else. There you have it. So take a look at it, leave in the comments what your thoughts are, if you got any suggestions for us. Oh, stop, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I do greatly appreciate it. Man, we got a lot of people that are watching that are um, newbies to the channel or haven't subscribed because I look at the numbers and everything. And uh, so that's awesome to see. But we are all about some financial independence. Why? Because I want you to wake up in the morning and I say, what do I want to do instead of, no, I can't do that. No, no I can't do that. Oh, that would be, oh, no, no, I can't do that because I'm broke. All right. We're all born broke. That's a gimme in this country. We are all born broke. However, if we stay broke, that's a choice that we make. Have a wonderful day. Okay, here we are. We're gonna take a look at what has happened in the last couple of days. Um, we've got the plumbing all squared away and we just had AC installed. And so I will let you take a look. We're gonna do some type of special vinyl siding up top there, um, give it a nice look, and then it's gonna have a band to come across and then have some lap siding on the bottom on the front of it, give it some curb appeal. 
that's inside. We still got to do some wiring. We got the AC run. Looks good. Got a couple of duct work right there. That's going to be our bathroom. And we're at the point where we need to go ahead and set the tub. Um, next week, the sheet rocker is going to come in and start hanging the rock. This place is going to be extremely, it, it's nice and cool in here right now. And, um, you know, outside, it's about 15 or 20 degrees mm hot. -hmm. Um, the spray foam, if you can do it and you got the opportunity and you can afford it, it's well worth it in my opinion. My personal my, house that I live at, I had the attic done. And the thing is, is that when you pull the attic stairs down, the temperature difference between the living room and up there is three degrees. Okay. Well, these hands, this is like 2.5, but three degrees, you get what I'm saying and everything. It makes a huge difference having this uh, spray foam done and I really like it. I prefer it myself um, You know, it just works out real well Now y'all are probably asking about this and some other stuff and What this is is what we call dead wood and we're actually gonna have to put some in between here on top of that top plate and dead wood is a piece of wood that comes over serves no purpose except for to hang the sheetrock to screw into it um, we'll end up having to go through here and kind of trim some stuff off, make sure it's level. We got a um, duck there. Um, it's all coming along real nice and everything, so it, uh, it'll be all right. We're going to have to straighten that up a little bit. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. This is part of the construction industry. This is what you go through. This is what you do. And um, this project for me is the very first one that I've ever done like this this extensive as far as basically we're taking it from the ground up and turning it in completely into a house now I've done different things at times but there's always been something else there like we converted something and it had a um uh you know already had the kitchen there or it had um you know, it already had AC or something, but this one right here, all this was was four walls and a roof. Got a new roof put on it a few months ago, and we're gonna put some nice vinyl siding on it. It'll be a full-fledged one-bedroom house. This will probably increase the property value by $80,000. And this is from us doing it ourselves, and the house that I got that's on the property as well, you know, I'm all into it for about 25 or 30, but I've had it rented out for three and a half years. So we're definitely in the profit on it. On Monday, we're going to go ahead and dig. We'll go ahead and put our drains in. We're going to run a sewer lateral that'll come from here. The main part of the sewer ties in right in here. Um, that blue stub over there, that's going to be the water supply line. You got your AC, your condenser lines coming out and everything that'll run down the side of the building. Um, we're not setting that unit just yet so that uh, we can go ahead and uh, do the digging and uh, we'll get that uh, drain put in, that sewer lateral, and uh, we'll be good to go. We're going to have a water spigot right there on the front of the place. I might end up doing a concrete driveway and uh, just to dress it up some. And uh, thought about doing that. Thought about coming off with an awning and putting a porch on it. You know, it'd be a really nice... Uh, set up to have a front porch but then that's going to push the car back here um just don't know yet 